Listen. I'm just saying. Huh? Don't ever call my beautiful Don't. pussy no roast motherfucker. Listen, beef. that some some roast beef is 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 pretty. I know French is gonna disagree, but you know what um, I mean. Roast beef pussy is not attractive to me. No. Okay? And I don't and have if, 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 if your pussy look like a bowl of chitlins, I don't think so. What the fuck was popping is your boy Mike when I was I text you guys. Nobody ever says shit back to my text. Like I'm just okay. like, like I'm Look, not. You don't call nobody no more. We got into a fight on a fucking Zoom call. Even after we got off the phone, we said I love you, and I haven't heard from Mike Towers again since. We have, we didn't talk yeah. after that. Nah. You know why? The only reason why? Let me tell you something. Two days and ago, then we got a going... side jab in the meeting the other day when he was like, "Cause you know, friends should be calling to check up on people." It's true. I don't call to check up on people, so I'll take that hit. You know, I wasn't, a little even, side I wasn't little even trying to. I wasn't even trying to throw shade on there for real. Um, I just said that because I want because I wanted to, I wanted to make it because because French was gonna get in my ass if I didn't give him credit because I was hey, about hey, to. Hey, 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 look at look at my eyes. Look at my eyes when you talking shit. When you lying in my face. <laughs> Let me not laugh. I'm pissed off for real. Fuck yeah, her. Yeah, I miss you, Mike Powers. Fuck I miss, you. I miss you too, motherfucker. I'm waiting for the weed man. When the weed man arrives, I'm going to get up and you, handle my business. That's this, just part of the show. show. You do this it's every show. show. No, I don't. It's part of the show. Okay, okay nine out of ten of shows. Show. Listen, I want you to be. I want you to get what you need. I want you to handle your business. You don't got to fucking throw a fake picture of you can fucking leave. But I'm going the fuck off when you do it. Check one, check one, check one. Let me get in my register. Check one, check one, check one. The boys ain't naturally that deep. Fuck out of here. <laughs> What's poppin'? It's your boy Mike Powers. Episode number 14. Mike Powers reloaded. We in the building. Right there, we got Big French, the pragmatic. Your favorite producers, favorite producer, favorite engineer, and all that shit. DJ Beans, the Boston Baked Bitches in the building. And of course, the multi talented Deuce Ellis is in the building. Look, I got these things I want to go with real quick. I just I got some observations. Okay, Terry Crews got a book coming out. Right? It's called Tough. So Right, so it, the book is called Tough. I want to ask you: Are you you gonna read a book called Tough from a guy that let a small ass motherfucker cup his balls at a Hollywood party in front of his wife? No, you're not. Listen, Pete Davidson got Kim Kardashian's initials and the initials of Kanye's kids on his neck. You know why, right? I think he's taking a shot at he's Kanye. Get her pregnant, nigga. Why would you put somebody else's kids' initials on your neck? Another man's, what are you doing? Y'all too high profile for that. And, add Listen, and fuck Pete Davidson, Kanye nah. West, Kim Kardashian, and everybody in the Kardashian family except for Courtney and the fucking kids. Next, Drake is re upping. Is he with Universal Music Group? UMG, baby. $400 million dollar contract. Which clearly means that Drake is the best rapper ever. Am I right? No? Okay. <laughs> Yo, listen. If, if somebody invested $400 million in Drake, what do they expect to return on investment? To, what are you doing, Beans? I heard Drake is the best rapper alive. I heard you to shut down on purpose. Uh, I don't know what y'all... It's what my notes say. Right, best oh, rapper who, ever who, to do who's it. Giving you your notes. Me, four hundred million dollars. He got to be the best ever. Am I right? No. Okay. Um, you know why? Somebody go. Somebody got to make three billion off of it. They got to think they're gonna make three billion off of this guy if they give him four hundred million dollars. Right or wrong? You ain't asked for baby that? get off that cut though. What? You ain't asked for baby get off that cut. Oh, you know we don't bring a baby into this. Or how that three way split's gonna split up? Because the public got to get paid, Universal got to get paid, cash money got to get paid, and young money got to get paid. But Baby's eating off the top. He's he's the best <laughs> rapper out of everybody. You know who's seeing two bill off of this? <laughs> Baby, the guy that the guy that defiled Tony Braxton, that guy. <laughs> Man, you think Drake could bag Tony? <laughs> Probably not. You're probably right, dudes. And Eminem made it into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You know who didn't make it? A Tribe Called Quest. And Dionne Warwick. French, name me one Dionne Warwick song. 
You're fired. Let's get into this thing that Fritz want to talk hold about. Up, hey. Hold the fuck up, B. Fuck Dion Warwick. How about that? That's Whoa! That. That's fuck Nippy that Ati. Fuck that bitch. What How you don't do? She get you a back read, nigga? Dion Warwick? The same yeah. chick that had a war on hip-hop back in the days? Oh, shit. This nigga taking it all the way back. We gotta fuck let some... That bitch. I'm still mad about that. <laughs> some of that shit we gotta let go, friend. She's like 90. She got one foot in the grave, the other in the banana peel. See you later. I'm I'm sorry, Dion. That's not, this is, and that was just the tip with me. <laughs> and watch, she's gonna die before this episode drops. Fritz wanted to talk about this. This is coming. This video, whenever you're seeing this, I'm sure it's two weeks late. But apparently, earlier, Dave Chappelle got attacked on stage at the Hollywood Bowl. Uh, French, give me the background. So. At the Hollywood Bowl, Dave Chappelle's on stage doing his thing, you know, being funny. And some dude just hops out the fucking crowd. And he was like, he was front stage. He was Allegedly transgender. Uh, I, was, I was about to ask, transgender Allegedly or... transgender. But that's what Dave mm-hmm. said, but I think that was a joke. I don't think he was trans. I just think he was crazy. The homie hops on stage and gives Dave the weakest fucking tackle I've ever seen in my life. And Dave kind of almost brushed it off, but homie grabbed him. And I guess just by the momentum of how fast he was moving, he knocked Dave Chappelle to the floor. And then security came and whooped his ass. Hold on, though. Hold on, because that wasn't security. You know who that was? That was motherfucking Buster Rhymes and Jamie Foxx. Oh, (laughs) fire. What? Was it really? They stomped that nigga elbow out of his arm. Well, homie was looking like a Rubik's Cube. He was all twisted the fuck up in the picture. Yo. Listen, Jamie Foxx was like, she said she wants a Marvin Gaye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. So you trying to tell me that Buster Rhymes, is this the new buff Buster Rhymes or is it the fat like Mike Powers Buster Rhymes? Somewhere in between. Somewhere in between. between. Okay. You ever, you ever see a buff fat nigga that you really just don't want to fall on you like with all that muscle weight? That's, yeah, that's Buster, Buster like. either way. Like fat <laughs> yeah, like, Buster or Jack Buster. Like you don't want that motherfucker hitting you, falling on you, rubbing up on you. Dog, you know neck ass shit. nigga. Listen, and you gotta think, hey, hold on, hold on. Here's the funny shit. Was Chris Rock there? Chris what? Rock ran on stage right. and made a joke like, yo, Dave, was that Will Smith? Right. <laughs> If he would have told that joke and Will Smith would have just popped up and slapped his ass again. No that was facts. That would have been the most classic <laughs> shit ever. Nah. Yeah. Mom, it's it's right. Okay. I'm moving on. Listen. I put this up on my IG earlier this week. Um, and for people that's watching this later, it's going to be like two weeks ago. Um, Huss Kingpin. Do I have the quote? My Huss Kingpin said on Twitter... Mock want to flex on me badly, but he can't. People that know him in real life know he was a floor silver surfer all his life. So I didn't know what the fuck was going on. So I post on IG. If anybody know what's going on here, somebody fill me in. And people came. Thank y'all for coming to the uh, comment section on my IG. You can follow me at Mike Powers Global, by the way. And informing me that Mock Hami just dropped the album. Apparently, I didn't I didn't hear it because I don't got title. Can you hear it anywhere but title? And I guess Mock Hami... Threw some shots at Huss. Did anybody hear these shots? Beans, you ain't hear it? No, because listen, I told you I haven't been listening to hip hop, but all I have to say is Easter Gun Day, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They've been, I don't know if you want me to speak on this. You know, I know Huss personally. Um, I know that Huss don't usually just stir shit up for no reason. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's shots fired and Huss does the same shit in his tracks. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I do know that there's a, a level of disrespect that I don't know Mock personally. Um, not a huge Anybody? fan of his music. I don't listen to him like that. I miss that dude. I don't know what you just said. But. I say, does anybody? Does anybody know um, Mock Army? Like I'm he's just, very. I'm just saying. Like there's people that absolutely fucking adore this dude, swear by him, all that shit. Never met him in real life. I can't give a personal opinion. But I, one thing I do know about Hess Kingpin is that he's always been extremely selfless. And uh, he's looked out for a lot of artists. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, so there's a lot of people that Huss has thoroughly accommodated and looked out for when they come into town. And then as soon as 
they link with maybe what they consider is a bigger name or whatever, it's like, fuck us. So, you know, um, I've, just, I've never seen her start something on his own. I just haven't. So I have not heard this song. I, I like I, I have not been listening to hip hop that much. I've been and I, really I know busy about, working on other shit. So I know about Easter Gunday, right? So yeah. because I was I was told about this, and I went back and listened to the Easter Gunday tracks, and yo, them shits is crazy. Um, I wish I would know what Max said on this joint. Maybe y'all could tell me in the comment section down below. But what are your thoughts on these guys continuing this? I'm gonna do like this when I call it beef, because I don't think it's real beef. I just think it's a lot of ego. That's the thing, because for me, I'm more than happy to thank somebody for looking out for me and, and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of men don't want to admit when somebody else looked out for them. And Huss doesn't just fucking get on social media and be like, yo, this dude slept on my couch. This dude slept on my couch. I did this for this dude. I got this dude, bitches. He don't do that kind of shit till somebody jabs him first. You mm. know what I'm saying? So, I mean, they all keep it going. I think it's thoroughly entertaining. I don't know what it will be in real life if they. Huss, let's have a conversation. Get your ass in the chair, respectfully. Yeah, um, act, like, act like you don't know me at all. No, but Huss, Huss don't like to do interviews. He did that one okay. with fucking oh, I don't like to take out the fucking trash. No, I'm it's calling it out. I don't care I'm nothing about to be that. His DJ and he don't even fucking perform. I don't care nothing so, about that. Bring him on then. I'm saying I'm trying to call he, him he out so he'll come company, on man. here, Mike. You talk to the company man. You ain't gonna come talk to Powers. You ain't gonna come talk to the voice of hip hop. You're the guy I'm, you you are, I us. I'm not mad at you. I'm just the saying. The motherfucking voice of hip hop. I'm the motherfucking voice of hip hop. Get your ass in the chair. Listen. Uh, 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 and people in my comment section saying. He wouldn't sit in my chair neither. So, but yeah. Mark. Mark. Get in the seat. People are saying that Mark Hami is garbage in my comment section, too. I'm not a fan uh, of him. You're not a fan of Mark Hami? I like Mark Hami a lot. I ain't going to lie. Deuce. You gonna stay neutral? You gonna be Sweden on this one? I said, name me uh, two Makami albums you like that ain't Pray for Haiti. I don't know the name of these albums, ah, but it's like, no, 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 that's how my Makami fans be sounding sometimes, nigga. Not you, not you. I'm just saying, like, when people be like, yo, I love this artist, I love this artist, and then when you be like, get into their discography, they just like the nigga pictures. And right, check this out. Check this how out. How can you let? So everybody's buying his albums for two hundred fucking dollars, though. So he don't, he don't love the fans. If he's charging that much, making it that much, you want to talk about fucking respect and art. You Listen, don't want to feel like being answer, sweet. I don't give a fuck. Like, Niggas drop albums. Like, everybody's dropping like seven albums a fucking year. I, I smoke a lot. I can't remember all of this shit. But I know every time I go through one of his albums, I'm like, yo, I like this one. I like this one. I like this one. Yeah, and Pray for Haiti is crazy. That nigga can rap. God for him can rap too. Y'all trying to say God for him ain't the shit? Are you fucking I just kidding had this me? Right I just now? had this conversation with somebody. Hold up. I just had this conversation with somebody. somebody. I didn't start the conversation. Somebody came to me and was like, <laughs> you know, they didn't say Fahim was whack. It was it was the artist out of Buffalo that's bubbling that knows a lot of your favorite Griselda homies. And they was just like, yo, I heard Fahim rap. And I was like, damn, that's all it takes. I could do that. You said that? Man, I, I would love that. to pull up this track right that. now and play it okay, for y'all. Whoever said it, and no disrespect, then they should do that. Because I'm intrigued when I listen to God for Him. There is this oh old school. God, I have listen, to find this let me, song, let me listen. I'm going. It's, it's, a, it's an old school quality and a simplistic quality about what he does. But the way he drops gems. Like, motherfuckers got to get their tension spans right to listen to a guy like Fahim. I'm just saying. And I just listened to the other shot clock thing that he did with, what, Nicholas Craven? Is that what he's doing the, the shot clock thing with? Oh, my God. All of them joints, I love them. French? Beef muscle, sneaker box, coming soon. This nigga with the self promotion. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, Huss, Kingpin, Bolio, is, is that the name of the album? The Remixes. Yo, that shit is fucking crazy. Did I just say it right? Is it Bolio? Bolio. Um, what was the album? Dump God? The Dump God album? So if you listen to my mixtapes, you would hear my, my Fahim intro diss. You diss Fahim? The Dump God. Well, give me some background. Did you diss God Fahim? You got a whole fucking... 
that's the part where you add the crickets and shit. Right. Listen, you did you, I? you got a mic in front of your face. You're outspoken. I'm gonna ask you a question. Did you diss the guy for him? Did I? I did. I did. Do the, I don't really care now, but him? like he did some shit, and I want to. I want to play a fucking song for you. That is just. I. It, this is the song I heard that was like, I will never listen to another Fahim track again. I think he's overrated. I think that people say this shit because you know maybe because he did an album with Mugs. I feel like it's got to be bandwagon shit, especially for somebody who respects Ka the way I do. For them to say to get your attention span right, unless Fahim has improved incredibly in the past four years. I, uh, yeah. so in my Money Miz mixes, you know, I did a, a series for the God Money Miz. So Money Miz was a Fahim supporter. And he's the one that told me how like Fahim was charging people $20 a fucking DM and shit. And I actually find that funny right now with some shit that I'm going through. What do that he mean? That our money Miz, by the way. To respond to a DM. So that made me lose respect. Then Miz, like he buys everybody shit. So there's this whole song he used to. and there's a, on a tape where he shouts out Money Miz. So then Miz ended up saying something about like not getting an order. And then like when he got his shit, it was like shit that was burned in, in a bedroom and he was like charged a shitload of money. So I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but Miz said something. And then Fahim tried to act like he never heard of Miz. But there's a track with him shouting him out. So I had left a comment under something and Fahim said to me, I don't know who Money Miz is. And I said, wait, hold up. You don't know who Money Miz is? Wait a fucking minute. So on this mixtape intro, I just put some shit back to back. You know, I just... Shout out Money, Money Miz, really by the way. Find this fucking song, <laughs> okay. Though, like, really. And I love everybody on my set. So I'm, bad. I'm a God for him fan. I don't know God for him. I don't know what's wrong with DJ Beans. I don't know. I have no... <laughs> I don't know why... I mean, this is, I mean, right, I, I right now, say, you're two, you're let me, two let for me three, just Mike. Say real quick, Deuce. Hold on. I'm sorry. I will say right now, this is past shit. This is how I felt. I dropped this tape in 2018. I haven't listened to Fahim since. He may have gotten better. So I will say I'm not carrying grudges for other people anymore. But I was in the middle of some shit, and he said that shit to me, and the shit was dedicated to Miz. So I did. What the fuck was popping is your boy, Mike? I was like, 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 I was like,